Dylan Cox for SecondsOut.com here at the Haymaker Gym in South London with Mikel Kessler's trainer, Jimmy Montoya. Jimmy, you've trained 17 world champions, including the great Alexis Arguello. How does Mikel Kessler compare to all those great fighters you've worked with? Uh, let me put it, every fighter has their own unique way. The best fighters in the world, like Arguello, Camacho, you know, Gannigan, they all have their own style. But I put Mikel up there with, on the top because Mikel listens to everything. And uh, like Arguello, for instance, he didn't like to do mitts, but he liked to do the bag, heavy bag and this and that. But he was a great, great fighter. Mikkel is one of the greatest fighters people don't understand because he's proven himself time and again. He can take you out of that one punch. Uh, most of the other fighters can't take you out with one punch, including my fighters, you know. How did you come to work with Mikkel? Because obviously he's based in Denmark, you're based over in the States, in Mexico. How did that relationship come about? No, the relationship came, I used to train Johnny Bradel. And Johnny brought him with him one time, and uh, they asked me if I would train him. And I said, yeah. When I saw the way that kid acted, with some, I put him with some of my best sparring, and he started kicking butt, and I said, oh, oh this kid's somebody, you know. And I started paying a little more attention to him. So then later on, when I'd come up here, I'd train him in L.A., but he'd come up here with his own trainer, you know. And have you seen any differences in Carl Froch since the last fight? Obviously, um, he's had quite a few fights since then. Mikel's not been as active, but have you seen any weaknesses or strengths that Carl Froch has added to his game since the last fight? Well, let me put it this way. Every fighter gets better as they beat somebody. And of course he's improved, but Mikel has improved a lot more than him. Because, like he made a statement, well, I've made 40 rounds in three fights or four fights. Mikel's only done... 10 or 13 to be exact, you know, and, and uh, you know, does he understand those 40 rounds that he took to beat people, he got beat up a lot, he got hit a lot, Mikel hasn't been hit that much in the last round, you know, three fights, and Mikel's put you out with one, one shot, not his fault. Everybody's talking about these two fighters are going to go to war on Saturday and it's going to be the two Warriors going at it. But we know that Mikel's got a very good boxing brain and he can box and he can outbox opponents. Is it all a bit of a facade and do you actually want Mikel to, to box Carl this time or is it going to be all guns blazing? He'll go to war. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go to war. If he wants to go to war, we'll go to war. If he wants to box, we'll still go to war. Jimmy, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thanks very much for your time. All the best. Oh, thank you.